Hi! Welcome to Beta Mama's Book Break. Today we're going to read a book very appropriate for the times. COVID-19 for Kids by Dr. Sher Cheryl Racinos. I was um, lucky enough to have met Dr. Racinos She's, um, in a, and read her memoir. She's an amazing writer. Um, and she wrote this book. It's free um, as a download on her website. Um, and I can, uh, I'll share her website on the comments um, of, the, um, of the video. So first she notes that as information is about COVID-19 is rapidly changing, refer to your local health department or the World Health Organization's website for more information. Be safe, my little friends. Um, so that's true, especially with this new virus, um, so much information can be put out there by people. Make sure you're getting your information from accurate sources. So, oh, Libby, you put this in order. I kind of got it out of order. I asked my daughter to put it into order. You put it, yeah, okay. All right. So I hope this is in order. <laughs> it's not in order? Oh, okay. Let's do it again. Are you sure it's not in order? It looks like it's in order. Yeah, I think you put it in order. Okay. Wait, just See, this is all about progress, not perfection. Oh, oh there's a first page. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I was oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm just yes. In there. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Come, now be careful. Don't don't just go go the other way. Go the other way. Okay. All right. There we go. Take two. At first, my teacher was coughing at school. The school had to close, and everyone had to go home. My dad told me there is a dangerous virus called COVID-19. My mom and dad told me that germs spread when we cough. It spreads from one person to another and can make some people very sick. School is so much fun. I was sad to find out that I had to stay home. Were you sad? Yeah, yeah I miss my friends. Yeah, you miss your friends. Yeah, and you were going to stay home anyway. Okay. COVID-19 is a virus. It is very tiny and we cannot see it with our eyes. I have to cover my mouth if I sneeze or cough. Right? Cover my mouth. My mom says I need to wash my hands really well. What do we do when we wash our hands? Count to 20. Yes, I make them count to 20. Okay. Mom, we are like brushing our teeth, it's yes. not easy to count. It's not easy, right. So you just kind of count in your head when you're brushing your teeth. Mm -hmm. Dad says COVID is a lot like a regular cold, except it is dangerous for people who are older or who have other medical problems. Young kids are not expected to get very sick, but when they cough, they can pass germs to others. And that's why we have to stop school, and that's why we can't see our friends, right? Mm -hmm. that's because that, because we want to keep everybody safe. Mm -hmm. Everyone has been asked to stay home for several weeks. We have to protect older people like my grandparents. Have we let grandma go outside? To stores? Mm -hmm. No, right? No. no, yeah, we don't want her to get sick. But um, daddy yeah. does go Yes, daddy, him. yes, daddy goes outside to he's, get groceries. Yeah, mm -hmm. because he's older. Yeah, he's older than you, but not as old as grandma. Yeah. yeah. COVID is really dangerous for older people like my grandma and grandpa. They have to stay away while we are on quarantine. What does quarantine mean? Do you know? No. no. She's trying to grab the no. pain. That means that oh, we no. have to um, oh. be, stay separated. The doctors and scientists are working really hard to learn more about COVID-19. I did not know what to do at home, but my mom told me there are a lot of things to do. Mom is staying home too. I'm enjoying all the time we get to spend together. I like to have a routine, so my mom lets me pack my backpack oh, to go routine. to school in the dining room. Yes, we try to have a routine too. Without being cranky. Yeah, right, exactly. When we have a routine, we know what to expect and we're not gonna be cranky, right? Yeah, yeah good. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. My mommy made a schedule for me. I love art the most. 8 a.m. breakfast, 8.30 art time, 9, science, 10, reading, writing, 11, exercise, 12, lunch, 1, math, 2, history, 3, playtime. This is just one example of um, a schedule. 
um, for us, we do more of a schedule like um, early morning, late morning, early afternoon, late afternoon routine. and e evening. Yes, our routine because um, we're not as organized as this mom in this book, so we don't uh, we can't stick to an hourly schedule. It would be very easily um, we would get very easy easily off track. Each day I go to school at home. My teacher gave me homework. My mom and dad are helping me. I miss going to regular school, but my parents say I can learn a lot at home. My dad is teaching me about history. My mom is teaching me math and science. <coughs> oh, bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you. Don't cough on the phones. Yeah. You have to cough into our elbow, right? Yeah. But no, it's just mm -hmm. a little baby, yeah. so she doesn't know. Yeah. We have online class. Sometimes I get to send messages to my classmates. I miss them. You do that in Google Classroom, right? Yeah, yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I don't do it often. Yeah. I can still sit and meditate. And I love that means I can spend class. time thinking about things calmly. Mm -hmm. Can we wait for the party? Yes. Oh, okay. But when it is time to do exercise, I do jumping jacks or run in place. Sometimes I do yoga with my mom. I get to watch my favorite TV shows. My dad watches animal shows with me. We are learning new things about animals together. What learning shows do we watch? Uh, we watch Reading Rainbow, sometimes mm -hmm. Mystery Dog, because we just watched... Yeah, Daddy introduced it. you to Mystery Dog. I haven't seen that yet. Actually, yeah. he didn't introduce me. I already knew. Oh, you already knew. Oh, okay. Yeah, and one of them was um, How Do Dreams Get Inside You? Oh, How Do Dreams? Oh, yeah, oh, I did. Oh, oh, germs. Oh, germs. I, I did um, yoga at school. Before. Yeah, okay. Yep. I'm happy when I talk to my grandma on the phone. She misses me, and she says she will see me when it is safe. I like to read. Sometimes I read books that I can hold. Other times I read books on a tablet. And where do you read your books? Khan Academy Kids. Khan Academy Kids, yep. And yes. me kids books. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, I make you guys read what kind of books before you play your games? Uh, Nature. Nature, yeah, we gotta learn about something a little bit before we play games, right? Mm -hmm. I can talk to my grandpa using a phone or the computer. I'm making a journal about my adventures Daddy at home. Daddy has two um, Connie Kennedy yes. kids. Yep. Uh, Mom says that someday I will want to tell others about what we did at home during COVID. Yeah, we could probably do that too, right? We haven't done that okay. yet. Yep. Okay. What's COVID? Ah, oh, oh, okay. Oh, we're almost done. Can you give me the last two pages? Give me that one. No, that this is one of the last pages. Yeah, here we go. That one, that one first. Yep. 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 I am proud to be part of the solution. I can still stay at home so that we can all be healthy. When COVID is over, I will go back to school and see my friends again. And for us, that's probably going to be next school year. And I will be glad when I can see my grandparents again. For them, I will stay home. When we go back to school, we will be different. COVID-19 has helped me learn more about how important it is to help people, to help others. We all have, right? It's not easy to stay home, right? But we do it because we know that'll help keep other people safe, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, on betamama.com, I um, have a couple of blog posts that might be helpful for parents looking for some guidance um, on how to talk to your kids about the coronavirus, um, which also includes a link to this um, ebook. There's also a blog post on some learning activities and downloadable um, PDFs for making a routine for your kids. Um, so it's also pretty challenging right now because can you please put your hair being on so your hair doesn't hey, no, wacko doodles? No, 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 no. Wacko doodles. Then your glass. Okay, sure. Yeah. All right, fine. All right, you're beautiful anyway. Um, where was I? So. Um, it's really hard because, you know, we try to stay away from the screen, but now it's pretty much impossible. Um, and so I, I made up two mnemonics for parents to use um, if they want a little bit of more control over their kids' use of screen time. So one of them is to do screen tasks be to, uh, before but, doing um, screen time. But on the time. iPad, yes. um, the uh, code yes. says, Colin can me keys. Right, okay, that's not really relevant right now. Um, and the other one is earn to do earn tasks before we can earn our screen time, right? So some of those um, letters stand for getting enough sleep and getting enough nutrition, making sure we're eating healthy, eating lots of fruits and vegetables, right? Mm -hmm. um, and helping out, doing some chores at home, right? You guys help with the laundry? Yeah, right, because we're home, so we got, we all, clothes. we're folding clothes, right? We got to fold the clothes before we get screen time. We have to do a lot now to help out, which I think is, if there's any silver lining, I think, you know, you guys are learning um, to be more responsible, 
Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Helping out how important it is to help out and to help clean up messes even if we are not mm -hmm. the ones who made them because we want to keep our home clean, right? Yep. Um, and then there's, yeah, so there are those blog posts about learning activities, um, downloadables oh, yeah, for yes, making um, um, class routines. Um, yes, okay, can you just, we're almost done. Okay, and that's um, all for today. So I hope you enjoyed the book. I think Dr. Racino did a great job um, with the graphics in the book and kind of helping kids process, you know, kind of normalize um, this whole um, situation. Um, in that, you know, every, there's other kids going through it and that, you know, this is, this is not permanent, you know, it's a very, very long time and, you know, it's hard, but one day we're going to get through this and we will go back to school, right? Yes. All right. Um, until next time, stay safe. Um, pick up a book. I'm sure you guys have picked up many books. And yes, we have mentioned Khan Academy Kids. It's a free app if you um, are looking for more books to read because now we can go to the library and get more books. Um, that's, a, that's another resource um, to have some extra reading material with and the I kids. And I can get um, a book about castles. Uh, yes, books about castles. Okay, bye. Can you guys say bye? Bye. Bye. bye.